as attractive as this on my legs? Yes, madam. <laughs> Idea. Oh, 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 I wasn't doing anything. I saw you flirting with that woman. Oh, officer, officer, uh, he wasn't bothering me. We do this once a month just to sort of keep our romance alive. Oh. Sure. This is how we first met. In this park? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say, your romance is with her, not with me. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Say, do you see that sign over there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, there'll be no more flirting in this park. No, ma'am. Uh, no, no, sir. <laughs> What's the idea? Excuse me, Sergeant. I uh, just stopped a flirtation up here. Fine, officer. And watch the necking, too. There's been too much of that going on around yes, here. Oh, hello, Carol. I've been waiting long. Huh. Hello, June. Oh, hello, Grady. How about taking us to lunch? I'm sorry. So am I. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I got a lawsuit to look up. Huh. Are you suing that law school you graduated from? Well, no, I'm... Well, goodbye, girls. I'll call you this evening, Carol. Where are you going to dig up the nickel? Oh. When are you going to air that blimp? Oh, I wish you'd quit protruding in my love affairs. Pull up your stocking. Get smart, dumbbell. Pick them young and wealthy, like I do. Now, take this man. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Take this man for lunch. I have got a slogan for your hosiery, Mr. Box. Yes? Foolproof hosiery covers a multitude of shins. No good. Huh? Mm -hmm. I've got it. Here it is. Foolproof hosiery does not give you a room. For your money. No good. Yeah, it's no good. This is it. Foolproof hosiery for contented cabs. Perfect. Perfect? <laughs> it's better than perfect. It's... It's perfect. Chicago, New York, the same way. I'm sending one to... Uh... That's it all over here. I've got a duck. That's the redhead I gave one of old man Reynolds' cards to. It is? Here. Listen, right behind this. We came to see Mr. Reynolds. Well, I'm afraid you're a little late. Will he be back soon? I doubt it. He's been dead for, uh, for eight years now. Something tells me I've heard that voice before. So it's you! But, J June, I... I, I can explain everything. Look. Who threw this? She did. Who are they? I've never seen them before in my life. Well, this is what? a business office, and we're very busy. Now, there's a the door. Would you mind getting out? 
Jack, you go get the photographer to take a picture of those sandwiches over there. Okay, boy. Hurry up, snap out. Why, Miss Carter, haven't you gone to lunch yet? Boy, you your time. Well, just fix up these couple statements here and get them out and you go right out. Get this from here for Bernard and Company, Chicago. here right away. But she didn't do anything. Oh, yes, she did. <laughs> she gave me a swell idea. How would you girls like to earn 25 bucks? 25 bucks? Yeah. All right, Jimmy. Get ready, boys. <laughs> How's that, Mr. Marks? That's the way I want it. Okay, Mr. Marks. All right. Get set. Now hold it. That's fine. That's all, Miss Brewster. Now for the other young lady. Yes, yes, you. Come along. Quick, please. Very well. Over here. All right, girlie. Sit right down. Act natural. Cross your legs. Stop it. That's the way it's got to be. We're advertising hosiery. And I'll fix you up so that nobody will ever miss you. Yes, sir. They'll remember you forever. For legs like that. You see? That's beautiful. Well, if you're advertising stockings, this is an awfully dumb way to do it. <laughs> you're telling me? Ooh. All right, grab it. All right. Everybody ready? Hold it. Still. <laughs> Goily, stop chewing gum. All right. Set. You ready? Take it. That's fine. That's it. Yes, that's that's beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, how, I ask you, can you sit there like statues without the slightest trace of emotion while the reputation of this beautiful young lady, this mere slip of a girl, hangs by a thread? You all have sisters. Think, I beg you, think of those mothers when you bring in your verdict. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I now rest my case. Oh, have you been waiting long? 
Long enough to hear your address to the jury. <laughs> well, won't you sit down? No, thanks. I just came in for some legal advice. Oh, yes. It's about a tenant of mine. He hasn't paid his rent for two months. That's fine. What can I do to him? Oh, no, let's see, uh, uh, tenant, not payment of rent, not payment of rent. Oh, yes. In the first place, we can throw your tenant off of the premises and hold all his furnishings. We could even throw him out in the street. Or, better still, we could put him in jail. That's all I want to know. I'm the new superintendent of this building, and you're the tenant who's $60 behind in his rent. Oh, now don't try to argue yourself out of this, because I'm acting on your legal advice. <laughs> uh, mister, where shall I send the bill? What bill? For legal advice I just gave you. Well, well, right. well boy, you just won your first case out of court. Well, was that one of your satisfied clients? I just won my first case out of court. <laughs> Brady. Carol, honey, you act like you're crying. Did you see those billboards they have plastered all over town? No. Come here, I'll show you. Look. Well, don't you see anything wrong with it? <laughs> sure, your hoser's all wrinkled. <laughs> they call me a dumbbell. Can I do something about it? You certainly can. I'll get you a written apology. Isn't there something in your law books about calling people names? Like, like, information of character? Let me see, um, uh, character, character. Oh, yes. You're not allowed to insult people unless you have their written permission. Well, I didn't write anything. Couldn't I sue them? Gee, I guess you could. I never thought of that. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. You know perfectly well I've been going out with Breezy and this will get him in trouble. Well, I don't care. Well, I do. Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Eddington, if that man gets near you, he's going to serve that summons. If I were you, I'd get out of here right away. <clears throat> He locked that door. Say, listen, that day was slapped a restraining order on my factory, and I haven't been able to ship a thing. What are you going to do about it? They got my printing plant tied a knot. I haven't been able to ship one pair of stockings since that dumb dame plastered a restraining order on me. You got us into this. Now, what are you going to do about it? Now, gentlemen, the girl is on her way down here. Yeah. Perhaps we can affect a settlement. Why, certainly. Sit down. Take it easy. Oh, pardon me. Have you got a match? Yes. I'll hold it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's it? Eli Dakota. Let him in. Hey, you don't open the door too wide. Say, hey, was there a tall fellow with glasses on out there looking for me? Yes, sir. But I told him that you said you wasn't in. What did you do that for? Well, you told me both to tell him that. Oh, we're uh, busy. Call my chauffeur and tell him to come around to the rear entrance. I'm going down the fire escape. All right, Mr. Morris. Get, get this ink off my hands. Hello. Give me the garage. Hello, garage? Have Mr. Reddington's car in the back alley in about two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thinks he can serve me with the summons. <laughs> I'll give that guy the slip. <clears throat> that's for you, Mr. Reddington. And that's for you. Just a moment, I'll have you stop. Now wait, you, you put your foot right here on my back. That's it, that's it. Take it back. Oh, 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 oh. You see my foot? Where's my foot? Well, I don't know. Mister, you get up and walk away. And whatever else is left is me. Carol, you can't go through with this. We'll get in trouble. Oh, Miss Tevis, I'm from the No Run Hosiery Company. Now, if you can keep your restraining order against foolproof for two weeks, we'll pay you $5,000. Uh, she can't talk without her attorney. Come 
Maybe you ought to know better than that. She ought to be here right now. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Now listen, boys. We're all in this mess. Now, Sandra, you, you, humor her. Give her anything she wants. Very well, sir. Well, that's about the only thing to do. Yeah, let's see where her out. Get out of my way. Hey, Carol, come in. Come on with me, will you please? Will you get out what of my way? Me? You wait right here. I told you she'd be here, and here she is. Oh, Miss Tevis, uh, won't you sit right down here, please? Thank well, you. Well. <laughs> Miss Tevis, you were suing this firm for using the very picture for which we paid you. Now, aren't you just a little ashamed? Yes, I am ashamed. Every time I walk down the street, people point at me and call me a dumbbell. Of course you're not a dumbbell, but could you prove it? Yes, I can prove it. My word's as good as yours. Hmm. Anybody want some gum? <coughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. What for you? Oh, you pass it on. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, pass it on. Here I go. Miss Savage, would you mind answering a few questions? Yes, I would. Fine. Are you an American or a foreigner? Well, I'm an American, but I don't see what sex has to do with it. Uh, let's sit down. Miss Tavis, would you consider monetary remuneration as sufficient reparation? You wouldn't dare say a thing like that to me if Grady were here. What would you say to a couple of thousand? No, that isn't A my... couple might mean 5,000, young lady. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. What's funny? That's exactly what the No Run Hosiery Company offered me to keep that... that... training order open. The No Run Man? Why, that's mutiny. <laughs> Eight thousand. Ten thousand. <laughs> this is fun. It's like an auction sale. Uh -uh. Look. So, that's it. <laughs> you roll life no run guy. Where are you thinking? Oh, oh sorry. Miss Tevis, I'm going to make you one more offer. Twelve thousand dollars. Don't think you can bribe me with money. Well, if it isn't money, what do you want? No, no, not now. I want you to apologize in front of June and Grady. They're here now. Grady, June, Grady. Oh, here they are. Now, <laughs> uh, you two stand over here. You now, Miss Davis, you uh, tell us what you want us to say. We're sorry, Miss Tevis. We're, We're sorry, sorry Miss Tevis. You're not a dumbbell. You're not a dumbbell. We're going to take Grady into our law firm. Say it. We're going to take Grady into our law firm. We cross our hearts and hope to die. We cross our hearts and hope to die. Isn't that ducky, Grady? Isn't that ducky, Grady? Now, that's all. <coughs> oh, just one more thing. Come here. Sure, that's all right. Yes, that's, that. that's all right. Anybody want any more chewing gum? <laughs> Come on, 
silk and stockings. 